Welcome back, I'm Zach Smith with Matt Sheehan and we're here to preview the Big Ten Tournament coming up this weekend. Now Matt, at today's, at Izzo's press conference today, he was, he was surprisingly happy after MSU's loss to Ohio State in the season finale on Sunday. Why was he so happy? Well, I mean, one big thing is that he really harped on, well, I guess not harped on, but he brought it up that his team's more confident, and that's pretty odd to say after your team just lost their last, you know, home game of the season. Even stranger when in that game, they didn't score for the last four minutes and 30 seconds of the game. But hey, he's confident, and you know, the more I think about it, why not? Uh, I asked Brandon Dawson about it, if he felt like he was confident. I, I couldn't even finish my question before he said, oh yeah, I agree, of course. Um, you know, three games now where they've had a healthy roster, I feel like they're really starting to get their feet under them, and even though they lost to Ohio State, that game was played with a lot of players on the bench due to fouls. Uh, I mean, whether it was the refs or the actual players that caused that, that's beside the point, but still, I mean, they hardly played together, and they hung with a tough Ohio State team at home. Yeah, and Aaron Kraft's senior day, I mean, you can't, you can't say too much about how much emotion and everything, especially Aaron Kraft, a player like him, four-year player oh, for Ohio yeah. State. Fantastic how much a play, how much a emotion was in that game, that added a whole other level that the Spartans couldn't overcome with yeah. the foul trouble. But heading into the Big Ten tournament, obviously we said they were confident, but Tom Izzo said that this is a different tournament, it has a different feel than, than past Big Ten tournaments because, you know, it's, it's such a bigger tournament for them so they can get some playing time. Why? Yeah, I mean, it's like a dress rehearsal, really. Uh, like I said, they only have played three games together, uh, you know, in the last couple weeks. So not only will a win get them closer to a, to a title, Big Ten title, but that means 40 more minutes of playing with each other. And if they win that game, that's 40 more minutes. So really, they're just playing to get more playing time together, get more games in their, like, under their belt before they really reach the NCAA tournament where, you know, a loss is the last game of the season. And Keith Applin, even after, like, at, at, at the player availability, was saying that it's really been a goal of the team to win the Big Ten title. And originally that was the season title, but now it's kind of morphed into the tournament title. And with injuries and, you know, cohesion, that's, that's even more important. And personally, as a little prediction, I think MSU is going to do it. I think they're going to make, they're going to make the run. They're going to, they're going to play Iowa. They played Iowa really well on senior night in East Lansing here, and then they're going to beat Wisconsin. It's a neutral court. Wisconsin beat them buzzer beater last time in Wisconsin, and that's pretty, that's pretty hectic. And then they're going to get Michigan for the third time this season in Indianapolis, and they're just going to go off. Stauskas has torched the Spartans both times this yeah, season, but, oh, yeah. but Dawson's going to be back this time, and he's going to do it. What, what do you think? You know, that's a good point, uh, but I think Wisconsin's too hot of a team. Uh, sorry, East Lansing, but I'm going to go with the Badgers for the Big Ten title. Uh, before they lost to Nebraska ball, which Nebraska, that's a legit <laughs> team, but before uh, Wisconsin lost to Nebraska in their final regular season game, Wisconsin rattled off eight straight wins. I mean, they had a really big hiccup in the middle of the season. I think they lost four or five, but... I mean, they're a hot team. Uh, you know, they're they're not the most talented, but they're well-rounded in every position. Like they, they got the guard play, they got big men that can do things. They have a big men that can stretch the floor as well. And Bo Ryan is just a good coach, as much uh, as Spark fans don't want to admit that. I mean, he really does have this team going in the right direction. So that's why I'm picking Wisconsin. And really, any streak in the Big Ten is is a big deal. Oh, of course, I mean, it's, yeah. it's like the SEC in football, the Big mm -hmm. Ten in basketball. I think that yeah. even in the NCAA tournament, Big Ten teams, even if Nebraska makes it, which I think they will, yeah, they sure. might pull some upsets because playing in the Big Ten Big Ten conferences, it's it's tough. So yeah. we'll we'll see. And uh, next time we'll talk, we'll be from Indy, and hope to see you there.